To the rest of the world, especially to the Muslim world, he had a, a double message. He said this, he said, uh, for those who seek to advance their aims by inducing terror and slaughtering innocents, we say to you now that our spirit is stronger and cannot be broken. You cannot outlast us and we will defeat you. But then a couple lines later, he said this, to the Muslim world, we seek a new way forward based on mutual interest and mutual respect. I think that message, David, was a powerful message to send on this critically important day. Yes, and it, it, it's interesting. I do think there was a hard edge, as Bill Bennett said, uh, to some of this speech. Uh, but there was also a different message, one that's very different from what we've been hearing from George W. Bush. And that is a very strong message. And I thought some of the most important words in the speech were uh, to the message he wanted to send that America is a friend of each nation and every man, woman, and child who seeks a future of peace and dignity. And we are ready to lead once more. Those are the words that the world has been waiting to hear. They want to see America lead, but they want to see us lead in a different way than what we've been doing. And I think what he was saying, it's very different. The second inaugural of George W. Bush just four years ago was, a, was entirely, the theme was a crusade for democracy, to remake the world as democratic nations. There is not a word in here about trying to remake the world. It is rather peace and dignity. That's what we're seeking with other nations. That's a very big departure from and what I we've had. I think that was the toughest part for George W. Bush to hear because yes. the words, we are ready to lead once more, exactly. implies to that, we, that to George W. Bush that we, we haven't been leading in the right way. I thought exactly. the speech had something for every Everyone, if you will, in terms of he spoke of uh, the slaves, he spoke of uh, rescuers, he spoke of the military. I mean, there was a moment, if anybody was listening close to the speech, where they heard their name mentioned exactly. essentially. He himself not only in the civil rights history, but in all of American history. Absolutely. And then to take it internationally as well, yes. your struggle and our struggle, we understand it. It was like he was speaking individually to people in this speech.